This is where I'm going to slow down and go very slow. And we need to talk about, there are three types of websites that are available for mobile. Okay, the first one is called mobile friendly. The second is called responsive. And the third is called a mobile website. The first one means, and if you guys have all, has everybody been to a website on their phone before? No. No? You should do it one of these days. You should really try it. You can do it with ours. But um, basically, what it is, if I'll give you an example, is a mobile-friendly website means that the website will load on the device, but it almost feels like it's zoomed out. Okay? And you have to use your fingers, or you have to hit the zoom button to zoom in. Has everybody seen that? Okay, that means that it's a mobile friendly or what people refer to as mobile compatible. I want to clarify this because when you're hiring someone or you're looking at some of these do-it-yourself tools to build a website, you'll see people sell you on the fact that your website is mobile ready. <clears throat> There's a difference. It still means the user has to do the work. Is everybody clear about what mobile friendly means? Okay, this is really important. The next one is called responsive. And technologytherapy.com, if you would like to check it if you're on a device right now, is designed to be a responsive website. Responsive design means that literally the website resizes according to the device the person is on. So if they're on a larger monitor, it may spread the content out wider. If they're on a regular size monitor, it would look like it would on most computers. If they're on a tablet, it shrinks down and stacks the content accordingly. Why this is so important to understand is because responsive design sites are a little more limiting in design. The reason is because if you look at this screen, when we design a website, we used to just do it like this, mock it up, lay it out. But now we've got to say, OK, what's it going to look like as it gets to a medium size? What's it going to look like when it goes to a tablet? What's it going to look like on a phone? So if you are having a custom website built, this is something that we spend a lot of time laying out, especially because as a business owner, my business goal is that you see certain things right away when you land on a web page, right? We put certain things higher on a page because we want them paid more attention to. So if you don't think about that when you design your site in a responsive manner, the thing that's most important may have fallen down. So the other thing to understand about responsive is that <clears throat> essentially it's a design that's on a grid. So this is just to show you a site that we recently did for Smart Apparel here in New York. And you can see this is what it looks like on the regular screen, but you can see how the navigation now just stacks now in two columns. The image resizes itself to be a little smaller. Ironically, somebody brought up the election. One of the candidates ran a responsive site, and the other ran what we're about to talk about, which is a mobile site. The benefits of a responsive for you. Why I send small businesses into the responsive is because it is one website, not two. One website. You manage one website. Mobile means that you now have to manage two websites. A mobile website means that you have a desktop designed website and a second site that has only what you want to have on it for that mobile device. And this was the argument during the campaign, believe it or not. Is I apologize, I can't remember which candidate had which, but people were complaining both ways because you know the responsive had everything, but the pages are longer, so people have to scroll down more to find it. But with mobile, they don't put everything on there that's on the full site. <laughs> they only put what most people would want on the go. So I really want you guys to stop and think about this. I always tell my small businesses to go responsive because if you're small, you can't often remember to manage two sites. If you go mobile, so this is a restaurant that we take care of here in the city, Lebsan, on the Upper East Side. Very good food, by the way. And um, this is what their website looks like on a computer. But if you look at the mobile, everything fits. If you push on the phone number, it goes and calls for you. You know, it does everything it's supposed to do on the mobile. But I will tell you, it has happened that 
his staff has updated the website menu and forgotten to update the mobile menu. And I love that you laughed because it has happened to me. During my holiday party, I called the local restaurant and pre-ordered the bottle of wine before we got there. And then we got there and the girl said, did you mean to order a $100 bottle of wine? And I went, no. She said, well, that's the one you ordered. I went, and I pulled up their website and on their mobile they had a bottle of wine at one price of that and then on their main website they had another one. <laughs> I, I'm telling you this little thing because obviously they didn't open it so they saved themselves money but if they had opened it they would have given it to me at the $30 and not the 100 because it was their own fault. So you guys need to be careful because mobile sites literally mean you have to remember to update both. However, you do need to think about if this will work better for your audience. Now those of you who already have a website right now and you're like, oh great Jen, how come I didn't come see you six months ago? I would have designed a responsive site, right? You can actually take your website and make it a mobile site very easily, but you do need to remember that you have to update both. Is everybody clear on that? Yes. Excellent. 